Hey guys, Jeff here from besttechie.com. Today I have an amazing review for you uh, that I'm recording in this video. It is a review for the Lassie 2 Big Dock. It's a Thunderbolt 3 dock, as you can see right here. It has comes with uh, three different configuration options, and it, well, this bad boy, this bad boy is 20 terabytes right here. So uh, let's jump into the review. So here we have the Lassie 20 terabyte Thunderbolt 3 2 big dock and next to it we have the older model the um, Thunderbolt 2 version of the Lassie uh, 2 big now this one is not a dock version it doesn't have any um, of the ports or functionality you'll see in the this one that we're in this one the new one that we're going to talk about but I just want to show you real quick this one is similar in the sense that like it's like the new version uh, that just came out. It has it has a RAID configuration option, so you can see it says fast, safe, and JBOD, which is basically means that the drives work independently of one another. Um, and safe means it's a RAID one, so they're 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 basically striping the information. Uh, and RAID zero, I'm sorry, RAID zero is when it stripes it, and when RAID one is when it it basically mirrors it. So RAID 0 provides the fastest uh, speed in terms of read-write uh, access on these drives. So we're not going to be talking about this one, but as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the than the new version. This one's only 8 terabytes, by the way. They also have up to, I believe, 16 terabytes in this one. They still sell it, too. Um, and, they, and look, it's a very similar design. Well, They're both well-built. But we're not going to be talking about the Thunderbolt 2 version today. Instead, let's focus on this one. This is the Thunderbolt 3, as I mentioned. One of the cool things you'll notice is that it has on the back two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a power port, as well as USB-C or USB 3.1, as well as a display port. Uh, so you can connect a, a monitor to here via display port uh, with your computer and you can use a 720p, 1080p, or even a 4K display with this. Also, what's nice, you can daisy chain up to five of these drives using Thunderbolt 3, which works at 40 gigabits per second. That's really fast. And we're going to talk about some of the speed that comes along with using one of these drives in just a little bit and how fast the drive speed is, as well as the actual transfer speed that we that we that we got in our tests. So yeah, so this is really nice. Also, the USB-C is also a nice touch. Um, another nice thing is if you have one, if you have a LG ultra fine like I have, you can connect the, the display to here and, and, and it, it lets you simplify your setup in terms of cables and all that stuff. Last thing I'll talk about in terms of the actual physical device, and this is a hefty, these both weigh a lot, but this one weighs a good, a good chunk of uh, pounds, I would say. Um, probably, I don't know, at least 10 pounds, at least. Uh, it's pretty heavy, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it has this USB Super Speed 3.0 port here, so you can do charging, quick charging. It has a compact flash slot here and an SD SD slot here, which is great because I love to uh, put my SD card in here for my camera and then easily transport transport and import the video files onto my computer for editing purposes. Now, let's put this down. It's a little bit heavy. One of the great things uh, about this drive that I really like is the fact that they use Seagate, which which actually the company that owns Lassie, they they use Seagate Iron Wolf Pro Enterprise drives. That means that these drives are designed to last a long time. And since this one's a twenty, this is the twenty terabyte model. This has two ten terabyte drives. Again, in RAID zero striped, that means that it, it, it's twenty terabytes of storage right there. Now these are seventy two hundred RPM drives. They, adver they advertise that they have read-write speeds of 440 megabytes per second. In our tests, these babies got uh, 462 megabytes a second write and 474 megabytes a second read. That's awesome. Um, so they're above, they're, they're, they're working above the advertised rate, which is always nice to see. And actually, when I, when I did a test on the older 
the older model right here, the Thunderbolt 2 one, um, those drives were actually significantly slower. They, 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 they tested slower than the advertised uh, rate. So that was also uh, cool to see that they've actually improved the drives on on the uh, on the device to make it you know make the make them a lot faster. Now, in terms of data transfer speeds, one of the things you're going to want to know, I'm I'm guessing, is how fast how long is it going to take for you to transfer, let's say, a 4K movie um, from your computer to one of, to this drive? And the answer is it's fast, like under 30 seconds fast. In our tests, transferring directly from my MacBook Pro SSD to uh, this to this drive over Thunderbolt 3. Three gigabytes took approximately six seconds. Five gigabytes took approximately 10 seconds. And 24 gigabytes, 24 gigs took one minute and 30 seconds. That's fast. Um, when I actually, and I also did another test that was interesting, was I tested transferring from, again, this bad boy, the Thunderbolt 2 drive to this one um, and two gigabytes took less than a minute. 12 gigabytes took less than a minute as well. 65 gigs took about three minutes. 185 gigs to here took about another, uh, took about 10 minutes. And one terabyte took approximately 50 minutes. Again, very, very fast uh, data transfer. You're not gonna be sitting around waiting for your data unless you're transferring a lot of data at once, like one terabyte like I was at one point. Um, but still, you know, even even still relatively that, you know, to other to other other hard drive other external drives and other interfaces that you can you know use like whether you're you know like USB 3 or even Thunderbolt 2 as the case may be uh, that's still fairly fast as I mentioned it comes with a lot of other uh, great features like the like the display port and the USB uh, in the front as well as the SD and compact flash allowing you to make you know simplify your workflow and essentially get down to as as many as few, I'm sorry, as few cables as possible in your setup. Uh, that's the whole idea behind it. And really, you know, I noticed in my experience, I, one of the things I do is I store all my music on these devices, on these drives, as well as all my movies and stuff. And I, I stream them, uh, you know, not, not stream them, but I, I play them from the device. And I noticed in iTunes that with this drive, it was significant the 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 lag time was significantly decreased in fact there's like literally no lag time from hit from hitting from when i hit play to when it starts whereas on this one there was a you know somewhat of a, a small lag time that you know when i hit play on a song i had to like you know pick it up on the drive and then play it so yeah overall i'm really pleased with the lacie two big dock thunderbolt 3 edition that that just came out uh about a month or so ago at this point um I'm really happy with all the marks that it hits in terms of read-write speeds for the drives, uh, the transfer speeds, and all the other uh, options that include, you know, RAID configurations. I have mine in RAID zero, as I mentioned. Um, overall, it's just a really solid drive. I love the uh, versatility it provides with the uh, docking features, such as the SD card slot, which allows me to, as I mentioned, put in my SD card from my camera so I can easily transfer the footage onto my computer to record, to, to edit the video. And all those other you know really nice things such as the USB uh, super speed port uh, in the front as well as the uh, additional USB 3.1 or USB-C in the back. So yeah, I highly recommend this drive. It comes in a couple different storage options, eight terabyte, 12 terabyte, 16 terabyte, and 20 terabyte. Uh, it'll run you a little bit of money uh, I'll have all the details and pricing down below in the description as well as a link to the complete review where you can read all of this stuff again just to make sure you get the right one that, that serves that serves you well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And again, remember, remember, take care of your computers.